Praise God. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Yes. Magandang umaga po, CFCA family. Yes, gusto ko lang uh, i-share kahapon ang aming mga kaganapan. At nagkawa kami ng uh, cherry picking with the CFCA family. So, um, yes. So, Maganda at pinagpalang umaga po sa atin lahat. Amen. Amen. At salamat sa Panginoon, we have the opportunity to praise and worship Him. Right now, we are gathered to worship Him and praise Him. Amen. So handa na po Amen. ba tayong uh, umawit para sa ating Panginoon? Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go. I, I'd love to be in your presence. I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice, lift my hands and raise my voice. I love to be in your presence. I love to be in your presence. Yes, in your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice, lift my hands and raise my voice. One more time. I love to be in your presence. I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand in your Lift my hands and raise my voice. You set my feet. You set my feet to dancing. You fill my heart with song. You give me reason to rejoice. Rejoice! I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands and raise my hands. I love to be in your presence. I love to be in your presence with your people singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands. The Lord is my tower, yes, and He gives me the power to tear down the works of the enemy. In a difficult tower, He will crush, he will crush the devourer and bring the powers of darkness underneath my feet. For the Lord. For the Lord is my tower, yes, and He gives me the power to tear down, to tear down the works of the enemy. In a difficult hour, we pray. In a difficult hour, He will crush the devourer and bring the power of darkness. One more time. The Lord is my tower. For the Lord is my tower. And He gives me the power. And He gives me the to power. To tear down the works. To tear down the works of the enemy. In a difficult hour, we pray. In a difficult hour, He will crush the devourer and bring the power of darkness underneath my feet. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. 
Let's sing one more time. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I I love your voice. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire and darkest night. You are close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. Salamat Panginoon at Lord sa aming uh, susunod na aming uh, gagawin po ang aming uh, ang pag-preach ng your word of God Lord I pray all God na ang aming Pastor Rudy all God na gagamitin niyo po muli Panginoon upang ihayag ang iyong mga salita all God sa amin all God Lord I pray all God na ang makakarinig Panginoon open our hearts all God Amen. open our spiritual ear all God that we are not only a list, uh, hearer of your word but also a doer of your word, O Lord God. Lord, Amen. anoint the lips of Pastor Rudy, O Lord God. Use him mightily for your kingdom, O Lord God. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon, at uh, we declare your, the victory of the service, O Lord God, that we uh, surrender ourselves to you, O Lord God. At uh, bago po, Panginoon, lahat kami humingi ng pakumbaba, O Lord God. Um, we ask forgiveness kung ano mong Panginoon aming makalumihan sa puso, Panginoon. Kayo po ang nakakaalam, Panginoon. Patuloy niyo po kami linisin ang iyong banal na dugo, O Lord God, that uh, ang iyong mga salita ay aning matanggap, O Lord God. Amen. Salamat, Panginoon, sa dakilang araw na pinagkalob niyo po sa araw na ito, O Lord God. Lord, ang lahat ay binabalik namin papuri ang pasasalamat sa tanging pangalan, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Praise God. How are you this morning? Fine, thank you. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Bless. Amen. Amen. 
Well, uh, as everybody knows that uh, yesterday we have good time. Praise God. We have uh, cherry picking. Praise the Lord. And some uh, barbecue in Lake Del Bal. We had a very good day yesterday. But praise God uh, because... Uh, uh, yes, brother. <laughs> um, I needed my memory. Check. Yeah, I know, but we don't have no more space for the vehicle because uh, there's nobody drive on that thing. Uh, I'll, we don't have the um, extra vehicles. So sorry about that. But next time, brother, I'll bring you. I will, I, will, I will pick you up. Thank you, brother. Next time, next time. There's a lot of next time, brother. We have uh, limited vehicles. Yeah, that's, uh, there are not uh, too many people drive in there. And uh, we have limited vehicles. So sorry about that, but next time, brother, I promise you, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. But anyway, amen. God is good, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And we will continue our subject again, but uh, I would like to say good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday again. Hope that everybody is okay, blessed, ready to worship God this morning. And our prayer is for you to be blessed this morning through the Word of God. And again, I'm Pastor Rudy Moya. We are the Commission for Christ Fellowship. We are located here at 6678 Mission Street, top of the hill, Delhi City, California. We are inviting you to come join us in our worship service every Sunday. We are full gospel church, meaning to say we don't have any denomination, so we don't worry about joining any religion because we don't have any religion. We only talk about the pure word of God. Amen, and we don't remove or add from the Bible. It's a pure gospel of God. Amen, I say come and join us. Experience the glory of God, miracles, healing, and our service start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Amen, so again, we will continue our lesson on increasing the knowledge of God. Why we need to increase our knowledge? You know, because God has a plan in the life for, of his children. And that's why it is important for us to increase our knowledge, you know, to understand what is our standing in our faith. Amen? What are the things that belong to us that God provided for his children? Hallelujah. And that is why we study about the will of God in our life, the life of his children, and that is us. Amen. For us to increase our knowledge, to know him more better, to have a good relationship as a father and son relationship. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And uh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And again, there you go. And that's why we study this. And that is the purpose why we study this. Okay, so let's bow down for a moment. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Lord, once again, Lord, as we come to your presence, O God, this morning, we invite the Holy Spirit, O God, to take control of our service this morning. Be a part of our service. Take control of everything, O Father, Lord. Lord, we pray, O God, that you will open the eyes and understanding of your people this morning, that we will understand your message, O God. Lead us, guide us, Lord. Be our preacher this morning, O God. Let your name be glorified, O God, in the life of your people this morning. And Lord, we just declare the goodness of God this morning, and we just uh, claim victory, O Father, Lord, for the service of God. And Lord, I will just give you back all the praises and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Now, so again, we are still talking about Increasing the knowledge of God. God wants us to increase our knowledge about who God is. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Brother Norman, please again. The, our, our technology is again um, doing something wrong. Hallelujah. There you go. It's, it's come out and come on. But anyway, so maybe it's loose or something. Okay. So, God wants to increase our knowledge about who God is. Increase our knowledge of what the will of God toward His people, toward us. Amen? For the purpose of us to become strong and become effective 
on what God want us to be. Mostly in the last days. And how many of you believe that we are on the last days? Yeah. We are on the last days. You know, you see all the signs. Again, we, we never stop. We never stop continuing reminding you of what's going on because time is getting short. We don't want anybody to let behind. Yeah. Amen. And to those people who are not, you know, that still uh, sleeping, I say, wake up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because time is getting short. Amen. As we continue our subject, we've been discussing for the last several weeks now, you know, uh, about our dreams. We're talking about dreams, you know. Uh, never stop dreaming big. Amen. God wants us to have big dreams. Mangarap po tayo ng pangarap na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos. Hallelujah. And I believe that every dreams that we have, you know, the dream that God given unto us, it is God who put dreams in our heart. Amen. Amen. It is God that put the dreams in your heart. Hallelujah. And honestly, the dream that I have right now is not for my own interest anymore. You know, I used to have a dream of my own, you know. But my dream nowadays is how I'm going to serve God beyond my ability. The way God called me to be. Yan po, dun po natun yung aking panagin, yung aking pangarap sa buhay. And that's, that's my dream today. You know, that is my dream nowadays. So, so that is God put in my heart. How can I increase my serving unto God? Because, you know, I, I said, I experienced the goodness of God in my life. He is faithful. Hallelujah. He is so faithful. And, you know, then that's why since, since, you know, since God called me in this ministry, I say, I would like to give the better best to serve Him. Amen? So, let's invite you to open the Bible on our uh, Bible scripture today. It is a very familiar verse in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. This is very familiar verse again, you know. It says like this, For I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, evil, to give you a picture and a hope. Amen? It says, it gives you the picture that you hope for. Hallelujah. It gives us the picture, the hope, the um, 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 purpose, and hope. And that's what the Bible says. In uh, NIV translation, uh, it's not there in our, in our screen, but I can read it for you. In a, NIV translation says like this, For I know the plans I have for you. Plan to prosper you and not to harm you. Plan to give you hope and a future. Hallelujah. Well, what kind of future are you hoping for? What kind of future are you hoping for? You know, I truly believe that the most of us do have hope sa ating buhay. Tayo po ay merong umaasa, inaasahan. Amen? And that is a hope of prosperity. And some of us is a hope of divine health. Amen? A hope you dream to come to pass. Well, I'm very proud to announce you that this is what God wants us to do for you. Ito po yung gusto ng Diyos para sa atin. God wants you to experience the future that you hope for. Amen. And that is the plan of God. That is what the Bible says. That is what the scripture was, uh, we just read a while ago. You know, uh, God wants you to experience the future that you have hoped for. Hallelujah. And I like to read this in the message translation, in the same scripture. The message translation in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, said like this, I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not abandon you. Plan to give you future, 
you picture your uh, you hope for. Amen. This God speaking to us today. It is God what this is what God is talking to us today. You know. I know what I'm doing. I have it planned out. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God has already put planned out to take care of us. Meaning to say, before you do an action, before you do a plan, He has already set up the blueprint of your life of what is going to happen. Amen. Do you believe that? God has already planted he already did the blueprint, hallelujah, for us. And remember this, that the one, that one day of the Lord is like a thousand years for us. Can you imagine that? The one day for the Lord, well, one day for the Lord is like one thousand years. Uh, for one day, uh, one day for the other side, one day for the Lord, yung isang araw sa Panginoon, is like one thousand years for us. Can you imagine how long is that? According to Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. That is a thousand years ahead of God to, to us. A thousand years. Amen. Before we think about everything, God has already uh, planned it for you a thousand years ago. <laughs> and that is what God is. God already planned ahead a thousand years ago to plan of God towards us. And then he also said in the book of um, Isaiah, and Isaiah chapter 48, uh, Isaiah 48, verse 17, and this I'm reading in the message translation again. And it says like this. I like message translation because it's, it's, you know, it's explained to you better. And uh, this is what it said. I am God, your God, who teach you how to live right and well. Amen. I show you what to do, where to go. If you have listened all along that what I told you. Amen. If you just listen. But believe me, this is what I'm holding on right now on serving him in this ministry. You know? God speak in a very clear and detailed words in me. The plans of God toward us, towards the CFCF church. Amen. But God want us to listen. <laughs> we need to open our ears, you know, to listen on the voice of God. We need to be sensitive for us that God can move in the midst of us. Wag po nating ignore yung mga salita ng Diyos. Amen? God called the C I believe that God called the CFCF Church to a higher dimension. The dream that God put in my heart. Amen? God is speaking to us today. You know, and I said, I'll show you what to do, where to go, if you have listened all along to what I told you. Amen. God is speaking. God is speaking, believe me. He wants us to listen to him, you know. Uh, let's go more scripture. And I say, uh, uh, 55 verse 8. Sabiron, and also message translation, 55 verse 8. Sabiron, I don't think the way you think. The way you work isn't the way I work. Amen. <laughs> Listen to that. I don't try to read it again. I don't think the way you think. Our mind is different from God. Our mind is so limited. You know? The way you work isn't the way I work. Sometimes we always plan ourselves ahead on our own ability, on our own capacity, but we don't allow God to work in our life. And that is what it said, the way the work isn't the way I work. Amen? He worked different way in our life. So what God is saying us, anong ibig sabihin nito? Anong, anong sinutukoy sa atin ng Diyos? That I'm, I'm a big thinker. Amen? God is a big thinker. I am a bigger than what you think. Amen? I want you to come up to my way of thinking. Hallelujah. And that is what God is telling us today. God wants us to think the way God thinks. Amen. Well, you may ask, is, is, is that possible? Is that possible? Is that possible in our life? <laughs> well, I wasn't, uh, it wasn't possible under the Old Testament, you know, but certainly it is possible in the New Testament. Testament. 
Why? Bakit po? Because it's the, uh, in the New Testament, the Bible says in the New Testament, it, in, the writ, in the writing of Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16 said, But we have the mind of Christ. According to our Apostle Paul, we have the mind of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Meron po tayong kaisipan ng katulad ng kay Kristo. That's what the Bible says, not me. Okay? I just make it clear. So, uh, 1 Corinthians 2.16, uh, uh, But we have the mind of Christ. And if there is anybody that can think like God, if there's anybody can think like God, is no other than Jesus Christ itself. Amen. Amen? And we have the mind of Christ according to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 16. Hallelujah. So, God is inviting us to come in His way of thinking. Amen. And if we come up to His way of thinking, then we are going to think bigger thought. We're going to dream bigger dreams. Amen. Huba? Amen. We need to talk bigger thought and bigger dreams. Don't limit God in our life. And that's what God wants us to do. I know. Why is it, why is that? Back it Why is that? Because God is a mighty God. He is a big thinking God. You know, he is an extravagant God. Hallelujah. He had big plans, big dreams, and he want us to come up on his level. Hallelujah. Once again, in the natural, that, uh, that is impossible to others, you know. Sa katotohanan lang, parang isipin natin, imposible. Hindi ba? But because of the new birth, because of the new birth, filled with the Holy Spirit, when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, when you accept that the Lord, when you confess that you, with your mouth, that Jesus Christ is our Lord, then we have a new birth and filled with the Holy Spirit. Then we can, capable to think God thoughts we are capable to dream god's dream amen huba and that's why god wants you and i to live and he promised that the plans that he has for us he is going to see to it that they come to pass amen and if we stay in faith kung tayo po ay mananatili sa ating pananampalataya then he will provide for us the future that we have for Amen. God will provide the, the, the future that we hope for. We, I, I was, uh, that's why I told you a while ago in the beginning, uh, what, do we have hope? We have some dreams in our life. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But, you know, if we are stay in our pain, then God will answer. God will provide those pain. And that's why God wants you to dream big. Amen, Huba. Hallelujah. Don't hang around with people. Who has no dream, you know, that all in their mind is all negative. I remember when, when I was young, in, uh, during my way back home in the Philippines, I was, I was a teenager way back then, you know, uh, we always hung around in the corner, uh, what we call tambay. <laughs> well, we had tambay way back then, you know, after we graduate, after we, you know, we, we, we finished, uh, I, we, I don't finish my high school anyway, but during my high school, my high school time, uh, after work, we just stand by there in the corner of the house. And the, the barangay captain will come to us and said, wala ba kayong pangarap sa buhay? <laughs> That's what they said. You know, and because we are tambay, you know, we're just hanging around in the corner and the barangay captain will tell you, do you not have no dreams in your life? You know, <laughs> yeah. Then when you say something about plan, you know, then always say negative things. Those people always think about negative things because they try to pull down. They, they try to pull you down. Amen. They try to tell you that is impossible. You know, that is impossible. Don't hang around with those people. Amen. Don't share your dream with people that non, non dreamers. Praise God. Share your dream with people that is a dreamer. Amen. Yung, peop, yung mga taong mayroong pangarap sa buhay. <laughs> you know, I have a sample. You know, you know, you know uh, Thomas Edison and Henry Ford. How many, how many believe that? How many know that? Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. 
They are a childhood prince, you know. Thomas Edison is an American inventor who developed many devices in fields such as electric power generation, mass communication, sound recording, and motion picture. He also invented the light bulbs and many more. You know, that is Thomas Edison. While Henry Ford, Henry Ford is a founder of Ford Motors Company and chief developers of the assembly assembly line technique of mass production. Amen. They become very successful. And the reason why they become successful is because since they were young, since they were young, their childhood, they learned how to share their knowledge together. In fact, they both bought a house next to each other in Port Mayer, Florida. We've been there. We, me and Bill went there to their place. Port Mayer, Florida. We went to their, uh, to their house, their neighbors, next door, each other. So they shared the knowledge. They shared. That's why they become, they become um, very, you know, they become very successful in their life. Because they share their knowledge. Hallelujah. And that's why I want to encourage you. Amen. Make sure that you, when you share your dreams with someone, it's someone who has faith with God. Why? Because God wants us to live in abundance lives. He wants us to live prosperous life. And that is the plan of God in our life. He, he wants us to live a life that is a uh, great help. Amen. And don't put aside your dream just because they can see it. Amen. You need to hold fast on it. Keep dreaming it. Hallelujah. Keep on pursuing it. No matter how impossible it look like. Amen. Because I know that God is on our side. God is on our side. Because if God give me the dream, then he will see to it. It will come to pass. Amen. It will come to pass. And all he asking me is, you know, ang hinihilam po sa atin ng Panginoon, for me, for my personal life, God is only asking just stay in faith. Stay in faith. Amen. Keep trusting him. And he will make it come to pass. Praise God. Keep, it, keep, keep on holding it. Whatever it is, how impossible it is, keep holding on it. I remember famous Winston Churchill. Uh, Winston Churchill is a former prime minister of the United Kingdom. Okay? Who was the famous for his inspiring speech. The Britain considered him the most famous British prime minister, you know. And once he said to a group of young men, he said this, the very famous word that he said to a young men. He said, never, never, never quit. Amen. Amen. Never quit. Why? Because so many Christians fail to experience the dream that God wants them to experience simply because they give up too quickly. Mostly the young people. You know, and that's why, that's what he said. Never, never give up. Never, never quit. God is the one who put the dreams in your heart. And I say, go for it. Amen, go for it. No matter no matter if no, 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 nobody agrees with it, you know, no matter nobody see the way you see it, just keep on pursuing it. Amen. And God will help you and he will bring you in, he will bring it into pass. Praise God. Hallelujah. So today, I'd like to share to you some key, key point that help us to continue to pursue our dreams no matter how impossible it looked, okay? But before, before we share some of this key point, let us first go to the book of Habakkuk. You know, in the Bible, the only, only scripture that offer drinks, Habakkuk. <laughs> Habakkuk. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Habakkuk. <laughs> they offer drinks, okay? Habakkuk. <laughs> Notice this word, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Okay? Okay, there you go. 
Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. I'm reading for the New King James Version. It said like this. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on the on tablet that he may run who reads it. Okay, I, I want to read it again. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on the tablet that he may run who read. Now, I like to change the word vision to a dream. Okay? Well, again, we're not, talking away, we're not taking away some words from the Bible, you know, because the word vision and dreams are one in the same. Okay? Notice here, it said like, write the dreams and make the plain on, tablet, on the tablet that he may run who read it. Verse 3, look at this. Verse 3. There you go. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it stares, wait for it, because it will it will surely come, it will not tarry. So notice here he says, write the dream. And this is the one that God wants us to know. Because a lot of times, people who did not take time to write their dreams, they, sh uh, they, uh, they, assume, uh, they usually don't see it. They, don't, they usually don't see it come to pass. And some of, uh, because some of them, they forget. They forget those, those, those uh, dreams, you know. And the reason why is because God wants us to write our dream or write our vision is so you can stay motivated, motivated, so you can stay focused, amen, you can stay single-minded. And I said before, at the beginning of this year, remember that I said this before, when I was alone here in the church, you know, usually I'm here alone by the church, I want some quiet place that I can listen to the word of God, I can listen to God communicating with him. I was here all the time waiting for him to speak to me, waiting for God to, for his word. While I was sitting there in the corner, right there in the corner, you know, I know that the Lord speak to me through his word in the book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. How many of you remember that? And it is a very strong message from God through his word. And, you know, I need to write it down, you know. You know, and God said, God wants us to go to the next level. A new door of opportunity. That is what I that's what God spoke to. In fact, I, I wrote it down. Listen, right here. I'll show you. It's right here on my list. I wrote it down. That is dated uh, February 16, 2022. I put that on my on my, my in my Bible all the time. This is what I this is what God told me to do, and I need to write it down. Amen. God wants us to go to the next level, a new door of opportunity. Through every no, uh, though everybody knows that there is shaking and the chaos that's going on around us, He will not be shaking. Uh, he, he will not be, uh, you know, uh, shaking of these things. You know, God will not allow to shake us. God will not allow to move us. Amen. God wants us to experience the supernatural, overwhelming, and outstanding provision from God. Amen. And that is why I encourage you to be with me with, with this vision. You know, I encourage you to join us, join me with this vision that God has given us. Amen. Samahan po ninyo ako sa pangitain to na binigay ng Diyos akin. You know, I cannot do this on myself. I cannot do this by myself. He wants us, the CFCF church, his people, to experience, to open, his hand, uh, to open his hand and to provide for us a supernatural work of God, even in the midst of the problem in this world. And, this, and that is the dream that God showed us in the year 2022 and the year that will come. Amen? And, 
And that's why, you know, I encourage the leadership of this church. I encourage the leadership of God. Give the very best for him. Because God has a plan. God is speaking to me. You know, God has a plan for this church. Believe me. And I wrote it down. I don't, have to forget. I don't forget that. Because God wants us to pour out the best for us. Amen? So what, what we are doing, ano po yung ginagawa po natin? We are following the instruction in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. And said, write the dream. Make it plain into, on that tablet. Sabi ron, iukit mo sa bato. Hallelujah. So every time we read it, we can run with it. Hallelujah. We can motivate with it. We can talk about it all the time. Amen. And that's what we are believing for. And that's what we are praising God. For, well, we, praising God. You know, that is the reason why we can praise the Lord. Amen. God cannot move on us if we just playing nothing. You know, just, just we don't take it easy lang tayo. You know, if we can come to church, we come to church late sometimes, you know, again. You know, don't do that. God has a plan. If you want the best from God, then do the best for Him. Amen. Amen. Simple as that. You always sometimes you expect good things for God, but we cannot go do good things for Him. How do you expect things that come for God? That expecting good things for God, we, we cannot do best thing for Him. You know, and that is what God telling us. Believe me. He has the word. He has a very strong message to us. And that is what I'm holding on. Pwede natin balik-balikan yung dreams that God given to you. Amen? And make it motivate on your faith. Dito tayo mga hawak sa mga pinapangako na ating Panginoon to remind us the dream that God promised to us. And I'm encouraging you to do that, you know? Write the dream. Write the dream. Isulat po natin yung mga Mga, mga, mga binigay sa atin ng Diyos. The vision. Amen? So, that is what God telling us today. God want us to be serious serving Him. And that way, He can move in, a, in the midst of us. So, let's open again one more verse in the Bible which uh, will help us our key, key point here. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 18. There you go. Said this, While we don't look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So what is Apostle Paul is trying to tell us here? Ano pong gustong ipahiwatig sa atin ni Apostle Pablo? How do you look at the things that are not seen? Paano ba natin makikita yung mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita? <laughs> Sa totoo lang, mahirap um, uh, talagang makita yung mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita. You know, it's hard to see those things that we cannot see. You know? And they, uh, the tendency is uh, we are always focused on the things that we see on our naked eyes. Amen. And the tendency natin, we're always looking on the things that we always see on our natural eyes, the, the things that around us, the natural things. Mostly, if you have a very small knowledge about the Word of God, you know, uh, we say, while we not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Meaning to say, don't allow the things which you can see with your natural eyes to control you. Amen, Huba. Don't allow the things you can see with your natural eyes. Most of the time that we see all the time, the things that are around us, you know, to control you. Amen. And, the, and that is a very common to some believers. You know, the reason why they're having a hard time in serving God is because of the things around them. The things that they see with their eyes. And without noticing it, they control your life. Amen, Huba? Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen? The reason why we cannot do something, we cannot serve God, 
is because the things around us, yung mga bagay na nasa kapaligidan natin, and we don't, we have been realizing it, they are the one who controlling your life. They are control all the things that surround them. Amen? They are controlled by your needs. They are control of your material things. They are control of your ambition. They are control of your health. They are control of, by the way, the words, the world going on. They are controlled by their jobs. Amen? Don't allow the things which you see with your natural eyes to cause you to lose, to lose focus. Amen? Cause you to become discouraged. And what are those things that we see with your natural eyes? Ano po yung nakikita natin sa natural eyes natin? Ano yung mga bagay na nakikita natin ng ating mga mata na siyang nagpapahina sa ating pananampalataya? What are those things? Pleasure in life, of course, material things. The needs that we try to get with our own ability and strength. Amen. The Bible says, but keep looking at the things which are not seen. It's hard to see the things that we've never seen. You know? But what we're talking about here is the dream that God give us, the God that given you, the dream that come into your heart first. Amen. But before I share that to you, the dreams that God put in my heart, I need to see it on, my own, on, on the inside of me first. Amen. It comes to uh, something that is seen on the inside of me. You know? And that is what Apostle Paul is trying, uh, talking about. That is what Apostle Paul is trying to tell us today. And he said, the things we cannot see by our natural eyes. Keep focus on those things and don't allow the things that you can see with your natural eyes to cause you to lose, to lose focus and cause you to become double-minded. I say, keep focus and stay single-minded on the things that you can see without natural eyes. And that is what I'm trying to teach myself. You know, boy, to be, you know honestly, I try to teach myself you know, how to become focused on him, that I need to see on the inside of me, you know, and I make more real to me, you know, that I see on the, on that, on the outside. Hallelujah. And I'm talking, uh, I'm taking time, you know, I'm taking time to allow it to go deep down on my spirit. And I know, I know and I know, you know, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. I have no doubt with that, you know. The same thing when, when we heard from, you know, when we heard from the Lord five years ago, you know, in the prayer mountain, when we hear from God, when we have, uh, when we, uh, God gave us a uh, go signal, when we, uh, you know, God said, okay, you can start a church. You know, we, we don't have nothing. We don't have anything at all. But look at this, you know, we are here. We are now going to six years anniversary coming up. God will fulfill what God put in our heart. It's just a matter of time. Amen. Hallelujah. It's like a mother. You know, it's like a mother. When, when she been confirmed by the doctor that she was, he has conceived, you know, she had been test, that she was pregnant, you know, she knew that there is something on the inside of her that nobody can see it yet. Amen. But it's been conceived on the inside of her. She knows it's there. This, they know the baby's there because it's been confirmed that he was, he was there. There's a child. She is carrying a child. And she stay focused on the fact that about in the nine months, she is, going, she is very excited to see the things, to see those things happen. So, you know, para makita yung baby. So, she was excited after nine months. So, what is she doing? Probably she's already buying baby stuff, you know, um, maybe buying baby bottles. She's probably already giving a baby name, of course, hallelujah. Though she is not uh, probably, ex uh, she, she's not probably experienced the birth yet, but she knew that it's real, it's on the inside of her. 
Hallelujah. And, and it's a matter going, uh, it's a matter of nine months, it's going to come to pass, you know. And the same thing with our dream. The same thing with our dreams that God has given us. God has given you. That there is a dream deep down. Hallelujah. Deep down on the inside of your spirit. And the same thing with me. There is a dream that God put in my heart. That God put me. You know, and I know it's there. I know it's there. Hallelujah. And I'm going to let, I do not let anybody to talk about it. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let go of that, let go of that dream. Amen. Because God's plan has uh, God has a plan in my life. God has a plan with this uh, with this ministry, and God want me to experience. And I'm not going to give up on it. Amen. We will not going to give up. Amen. So you might ask, Maring tanong natin, Pastor, how do you know that it will come to pass? You know, that seems like too big. That God show you in your dream. Maring tanong natin kasi sabi ko I, my plan is God will use this church in a very mighty way. Amen. But you might ask, well, that's too big. <laughs> is the thing it will happen? Well, I say, that's God's problem. You know, problem and just yeah, That's my problem anymore. You know, hallelujah. That is, the, that is God's part. The only problem that I have is how, how I'm going to trust him. Amen. And how I'm going to obey him. And wait on him. That's my side. Amen. I cannot answer for God. That is his side. Hallelujah. The only things I know, according to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18, he is the God that never lies. Amen. Amen. He is the God. He promised when he said the promise, it will come to pass. So once again, write the dream. Write the dream. Hallelujah. Believe me, you know, sometimes, you know, this is my experience. Sometimes I was driving towards the downtown of Delhi City, you know, and I come up down around, around uh, along uh, Colma, you know, and I see those vacant big building that closed during the pandemic somewhere there, you know, somewhere in Colma, you know, and I was driving. I, you know, honestly, I stopped for a while. <laughs> I put my imagination that I see that big building, I see that big, big building there, and I put on my imagination that there is a big CFCF church there. <laughs> Hallelujah. On that building. You know, that's true. I'm telling you the truth. I stop. I'm just like crazy. You know, I stop there for a while and start dreaming. You know? And, the, the, you know, that is the vision that God put on my, on my mind, you know. And I believe, you know, I sprung on that building and I see from my vision about the big stage on front with a lot of uh, uh, spotlights inside and there is a worshipers that leading the place and worship on the inside of that building you know i try to see that vision amen and uh, you know with a lot of people that hunger and thirst for the word of god praising god hallelujah and sometimes i feel like crazy you know i stop on the front of the building and try to imagine the big sign of CLCF church right there. Hallelujah. And, but it's true, you know. That is my vision. That is my vision. That is what God put on my vision. You know, what I'm doing. You know, I'm keeping something on front of me. What I see on my spirit. I put a visual of it that I can see with my natural eyes. And hold pass on it until it will come to pass. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what the Bible says. Now there is notice in Second Corinthians chapter 4, 18. While we do not look at the things with us, it's seen. Amen. But at the things which are not seen. Hallelujah. For the things which are seen are temporary. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. That is God speaking to us right now. Amen. Amen. Huba. <laughs> Hallelujah. God speak to us. He is true to his word. Meaning to say, don't allow things which you see. Don't allow things which you hear. 
Don't allow what's happening to everybody it's else to affect your faith. And don't allow it cost you about your dream. Amen. Hallelujah. God give us vision. And it will come to pass. Because the one who promised is no other than God itself. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go back again once. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk chapter 2 again. Let's go back again. Habakkuk 2 verse 2. I want you to read this message. In, uh, uh, I want to read this in message translation. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. Talking about dreams. Okay. If it seems slow in coming, wait. Hallelujah. If it seems slow in coming, wait. It's on its way. Hallelujah. Amen. It will come right on time. Amen. 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 This is God speaking to us. If it seems slow in coming, wait. It is on its way. It will come right on time. Amen, Amen Uba. <laughs> Can you look on your neighbor and say, It's on its way. Pagsabi niyo mo sa katabi niyo, It's on its way. Hallelujah. Whatever dream you have, ano man po yung pangap dream na binigay sa inyo, whatever dream that God given in your, way, in your heart, it's on its way. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever dream that God put in your heart, you need to keep on confessing it. Hallelujah. Allow to see the dream on the inside of you. It's on its way. Amen. Hallelujah. It's on its way. That's what the Bible says. You know, I did not say that. It's God himself speaking to us. I say make a vision of your dream. Put those dreams on front of you. Amen. Don't put it behind. Put on front of you. That whatever you see in your spirit, you need to hold fast on it until it comes to pass. Amen. That's what I do. Amen. That's what I do. Notice once again, it says this in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, 18 said, While we do not look on the things which are seen, but at the things which are seen. Amen. Meaning to say, don't allow what you see, what you hear, what's happening to everybody else to affect your faith. Amen. But the book of Habakkuk said, it will come right on time. Amen. Talk yourself in, a, in the winning side. Don't talk yourself as giving as you giving up. Amen. Amen. And keep on saying it is it's on his way. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. Amen. Kung may, may mga tanong, kung may magtanong sa atin, if somebody asks you, do you get your dreams comes to pass yet? Just answer them. It's on his way. Amen. It's on his way. Hallelujah. Don't answer him negative. It's on his way. Whatever it is, when somebody asks you something, did you God get your, your, your dreams yet? It's on his way. Because the Bible uh, tells me so. Amen. And I'm willing to wait for it no matter how long it's taking. Amen. Listen up. Satan will going to do his best trying for you to give you up. He will do his best to hold you up. He will try, he will try you to convince that it's going to be absolutely no way that ever comes to pass. But listen what Apostle Paul, Paul said. You know, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, 4, verse 1. 2 Corinthians 4, 1. Pakay mo blang po. 2 Corinthians, hallelujah. Please move. <laughs> Don't want to move. Okay, oops. Okay, it's not there. Second Corinthians 4, one. I will read just, I just read it. Therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we do not lose hope. Amen. Since we have this ministry, as we have conceived mercy, we do not lose hope. In other words, Translation said, we will not quit or pain with weariness. Make that decision that God gave you that dream. 
Amen. Then it's work of fighting for. Hallelujah. It's work of waiting for. Keep your uh, keep your living your dreams. Amen. Wag po tayong mawawala ng pag-asa. Sapagkat God is in control of everything. If God put the dream in your heart, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. So that dream that God given to me when I was there, I know and I know it will come to pass. Because the one who promised is no other than the God itself. Amen. 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 Praise God. Tumayo po tayong lahat. Let's stand up this morning. Hallelujah. Ora basi kaya rabaka sukura mahaka. Yes, sukura maka si kaya mahati. Oh, hallelujah. Ora baka sukura maha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are a good God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the dreams that you give given unto us. Thank you, Lord, for all the vision that you show us. Oh, God, you show unto us, oh, Father, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the things that you are planned already ahead of time. Thousand years ago, you already planned ahead, oh God. The things that you have planned in the life of your people. And surely it will come to pass. It's on its way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, in the right time, it will come to pass. And Lord, teach us how to, how to be patient, oh God, for all the promise that you've given to us because I know and I know it will come to pass because the one who promises is no other than the creator of heaven and earth. And therefore, Lord, we can declare goodness in our life. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for all the promise. Thank you, Lord, for your people, oh God. That thank you, Lord, for the CF, CF church, the CF, CF family of Father Lord. Lord, I declare, oh God, the goodness of you in the life of your people, in the life of the CF, CF family, Lord. Lord, we dedicate unto you, oh God, every single one of us. Every individual of us, Lord, that you are going to move in the midst of us. That you are going to fulfill the dreams that you put in our heart, Lord. Whatever it is, Lord, that no, we will never give up. We will never give up, Lord. We will not go into, to look on the things that we see around us. But, Lord, we will continue to trust on you, O God, because you are the one who promised unto us, Lord. And therefore, Lord, that is including everything in our life. I know and I know that we have a dream. Each one has a dream, O God. Dream of prospering, Lord. Dream of good health, good life, O oh, Father, Lord. Good Lord, you give us the dreams that we have, O oh, God, right now. And you put that in our heart, Lord. And I pray, Lord, God, that dream will come to pass, O oh, God, whatever it is, O oh, God. And therefore, Lord, as I lay hands, my hands to your people, Lord. Lord, as I said, you said in your word, Lord, whatever it is, Lord, if we put, we lay hands on your people and believe in your word, Lord, you, it will come to pass, O oh, Father, Lord. And even, oh God, for those people who are our brothers and sisters who are sick, oh Father Lord, for you will continue to remember them, oh Father Lord. Lord, Sister Evelyn, patuloy po namin siya lang itinataas sa iyo, oh God. Lord, patuloy mo siyang hawakan. Lord, continue to hold fast on her, oh Father. Even though she is at home right now, Lord. Lord, restore the strength, oh God. Hallelujah. New life. New body, oh Father Lord, in the life of Sister Evelyn, oh God. Lord, I claim your promise, Lord God, but by your strength, we are healed. Oh God, Lord, we are not going to limit you, Lord. You are a powerful God. Wherever he is, oh God, Lord, idantay mo, Panginoon, yung mahabat na magpalang kamay. Ipadali mo ang himala na kagalingan, oh Diyos. Sa buhay ng aming kapatid, sa pangalan ni Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, amen, oh God. Restart ka benta, oh God. Patuloy po namin siya inaalala, Lord, wherever he is, oh God. Lord, according to the doctor, Lord, the, the time is already limited, O oh God. But Lord, there is no problem. There is no, you, we will never stop believing you, O oh God. But because you are uncontrolled God. You are a God who performs miracles of our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, touch them. He put in Mosila, O God. Touch them wherever they are, Lord. And they will experience your miracle healing, O oh God. For them, O oh God. Lord, we stand on the gap between you and me, you, you and us, O oh God, praying for him, O oh God. Lord, that you will move over the life, Lord, that you will change his life, O oh God. They will accept you as the Lord and Savior, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, amen. 
you are people, O God, may mga karamdaman, sakit karamdaman, Lord. I pray for them, Lord. The, the miracles of healing, O God. Lord, whatever sickness, O God, that they experience, Lord, I claim good help in the life of your people. Lord, you are a God of a miracle. Lord, there is nothing impossible unto you to those who believe and trust you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. This morning, Lord, as we depart this place, Lord, we are ask you, O oh God, to bless your people, O oh God, financially, materially, spiritually, O oh God. Lord, bless them, Lord. Pour out your blessing to the people of our Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever they desire, O oh God, whatever we desire when we pray, believe and you shall have it. And Lord, this is what you shall ask, Lord, as your word, O oh God. And we're going to claim it, Lord. Bless your people right now, Lord, as we depart this place. Lord, we just give you back all the praises, Lord, and the glory, for you are worthy to be praised. Amen. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. God bless you, Paul.